Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I'm gonna show you how to seed a pomegranate and cut up a pineapple really quickly tonight because honestly, I don't have time to uh, edit the video, so I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna try to prop up the camera so that you guys can see what's going on uh, and hopefully this will turn out to be okay. So, season right now is good for pomegranates. Uh, you can usually find them for maybe a dollar or two dollars in the U.S. right now. And a lot of people either don't eat pomegranate because they've never seen it, or they don't like to eat it because they think it's a pain in the butt to prepare and to eat. And I'm gonna show you uh, basically how to make it a lot easier. So the first thing you're gonna do is put it down. You're gonna cut it, so there's, there's the stem. You're going to cut it across like this. Try to be a little bit gentle. Obviously, pomegranate juice is uh, it'll stain, stain stuff, so that's why I'm wearing an apron for this. So, when you open up a pomegranate, it has all these little, uh, they're called arils, A R I L S, and those are basically the little seeds with the juice pockets around them. And it depends on who you are. Some people, like to kind of chew lightly on the seeds and get the juice off of them and then spit out the seeds. Sort of like uh, the reverse of a, uh, a sunflower seed. You, you kind of stick a few in your mouth, you chew them, you spit out this part that you don't like. I've actually found that if you eat them a little bit cold, they're, they're really refreshing and crunchy without having to, uh, without having to spit any part of it out. So I just, put it all in a bowl and I stick a spoon in it and I eat all of it. So you do have to get it out of the outer coating. So what I'm gonna do is make a couple, so you can see this kind of in a star shape. I'm gonna make a couple of cuts where the inner, where the tips of the star are. Not very deep, just a little bit, just so that I can kind of open it up a little bit. So you need a bowl and a spoon. You can use a wooden spoon. You can use a different spoon. You need to pull pull back the sections a little bit, not a lot. You don't want you want them to all stay together. And you're going to take the spoon and you're just going to smack it, not really hard, um, relatively lightly, but but firmly. I'm just going to kind of go around it. You can use the corner, you can use the back. And if they're not coming out very well, then obviously you need to smack it a little bit harder. Sometimes it's better if you use the back of the spoon at first, and that gets out some of the big chunks, and then you use the edge of it, and it kind of gets out the, the smaller chunks. So just do that for a while and you can kind of flip it over and see which areas still need to be smacked some. And then obviously, as you get to the end, some of them aren't going to come out from this method. And you can, instead of wasting them, you want to flip it back over and then use your fingers to pull out the ones that are not coming out. Okay, so basically empty. Go on to the next one. Make my cuts. Okay. Pull it apart a little bit. And smack away. The wider it is, the easier they're going to come out, but the more likely it is that a piece is going to break off. And that'll make it a little bit harder, harder to deal with.
So for the most part, I've got I've got most of the pieces. Um, I could keep going. Uh, I might pick these out later, but this is probably ninety percent of of the arrows are already out, and that was much faster than trying to do it by hand or just some some people just sit like this and they try to push them all out. Now one thing that you can do, so this, this membrane part, um, it's a little bit bitter, it's not particularly tasty. If you go take this bowl and you put run some cold water into it and you just stir it up with your fingers a little bit, all the membrane will float to the top and you can just pick it out very easily. All right, so that's pomegranate. Let me wash this uh, cutting board off really quick. Now we're going to have apple. For the pineapple, the first thing you're going to do is cut off the top stem. If you ever want to Learn something interesting. If you've never actually seen the way that pineapples grow, I recommend that you look it up. They actually grow upside down, or sorry, they grow right side up, but they grow at the top of a big stalk. They're a member of the bromeliad family. And if you'll know, if you'll uh, been watching my videos, you'll know that they actually have a protein in them, or an enzyme rather, that dissolves protein. So when you eat a pineapple, it's a race to see who is digesting who first. Uh, you will probably win. So what we're going to do is cut down the edges as close to the skin as possible. So you want to just take off the spiny outer skin. But Dan, you'll say, look at all the, the eyes on the pineapple. I don't want those. I don't want to eat those. We're not there yet. So hang tight with me. Uh, I think my friend Beth at uh, Rungri Health Coach actually talked about doing a pineapple this week. I saved the video and I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I'm not sure if she does the same technique or not. But there's lots of different ways you can do it. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it some other way. Some people actually just stick their pineapple uh, in the core. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if that's the official name. The eyes are, you know, the, the little holes, little circles on the outside. Go around the bottom. Okay. So we'll clear this off. I think this way, I've seen some people that prepare stuff this way uh, in videos online and a lot of the time they're people in, in tropical areas that really know what they're doing, pineapple and huge machetes. They're very fast at it and they don't waste a lot. So that's one of the reasons why I like to do it. So what we're gonna do is you'll notice, it's a little, little hard to see in some views, but you can kind of see these run down sort of in diagonal lines across them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cut across the diagonal line that's just deep enough and just narrow enough to cut out. So we're, we're taking out this diagonal right here. So we're going to do that across the top. And we're just going to take out, so what you're going to end up with is a series of little diagonal wedges that just have the little eyes in them. Yeah, Jay said the pineapple is watching me, so. I got this feeling, pineapple's watching me. Yeah, you come here for the food, not for the, not for the singing. Actually, I missed a little bit of the outer skin here. Okay. All 
Um, you can cut it all off. If you want, you can just cut a little bit deeper and cut all the sides off. Um, it will be a little bit faster, but there's more waste. And honestly, I'll show you when, when I'm done uh, with this next side. This actually, it looks pretty cool. I, honestly, if you're going to be serving a whole pineapple, I would prefer to do it this way if you have the time to do it. Um, because since it it's around in diagonals, you actually end up with a spiral going around the pineapple. Now it takes a little bit of time to uh, get good at this, and, and frankly, I'm, I'm not the best. Um, so you may, you may end up wasting slightly more this way, but personally I think that is fine. And you know, if you've got kids and they don't care, they might eat these scraps <laughs> just, just fine. So you can give that to them and then serve this at your fancy party and uh, everyone gets to eat the pineapple. So just to show, you end up with it looking like this as you go around and I think that's pretty cool. Um, and as you start to do that, you also see where the, where the edges are and that lets you kind of follow the spiral around as you get to the other sides. So instead of cutting, so for example, you know, th this has a particular depth. Each of these, this is the next one. each of these areas has a particular depth. And so if you cut deep enough to take all the eyes off, you're cutting out the eyes and the fruit in between. Uh, this knife is a, uh, Zwilling AJ Henkel's, um, just a, a chef's knife, whichever one I have in my knife block. Um, it's just a standard chef's knife, whichever one you have should, should work fine. It's not a special pineapple knife. Uh, as I said, if you, if you watch them online, uh, if you go onto YouTube and search for, um, pine tropical pineapple cut or something like that, you should be able to find, uh, some people doing it and they have machetes that they're doing it with and they're just crazy fast in, in the speed that they can do it. Um, I don't know, this is still, this is taking me a couple minutes. I'm, I'm not looking at the time closely. Uh, it doesn't look like it says on my, on my broadcast, but you know, five, five to ten minutes at most and you end up with a little bit more pineapple um, for your money. Depends on how much you wanted to pay and how much you're willing to throw away. Um, you can probably put this in a smoothie. You might be able to put these scraps in a smoothie um, if you don't mind a little bit of uh, texture, perhaps. Okay, I think this is the this is the last edge here. Things to do with pineapple, I would say uh, smoothie is definitely a big one. A lot of people love having pineapple in their smoothie. Uh, I like to just eat it. Uh, as I said earlier, again, they, it has a, a protein, or a, I keep saying protein, an enzyme that, that dissolves proteins. And so if you take this pineapple and you make some kind of salsa or, or some kind of fruit mixture with it, and you put it with meat, you're, when you first eat it, it'll be fine. I would not store it together. The pineapple juice is going to soak into the meat and it's gonna be a tenderizer in a way that you don't really want. Uh, it's gonna end up with, with very mushy meat. And I, I learned that the hard way. I mean, I, I knew uh, that pineapple dissolved meat, but I didn't think it did it very quickly. And I put pineapple salsa on some Steak, it was just cut up steak of some kind. And uh, by the time I got to work that day, all my, all my meat was extremely mushy. So I don't recommend doing that. So now we've got this pineapple that's got a really nice pattern on it. Uh, probably, I personally don't mind eating the core. It's, I know it's a little bit fibrous and stringy, um, a little bit tough. But it doesn't bother me any. I think it still tastes plenty like pineapple, especially on relatively ripe ones. Um, 
but cut it in quarters and just kind of cut cut out the, the, the center corner and that'll get rid of the core. You can again save that, you can throw that in smoothies or whatever. Um, chop it up to use in a situation where the texture is not going to bother anybody. And then take these pieces that you know you've got the pen on the side and just slice it into slices nice bite side slices with you get a little bit more for your money <laughs>